Hey, I'm Nelly McKenzie. I'm here at Point Blank Music School and I'm here to break down one of my tracks. You've been talking to strangers Trying to find your way Don't you know there's a dangerous game to play So usually I'll start with chords, so I'll find the sound. Just set a tempo, I've gone for 130, put my click on. Cool, and then I'll probably just layer that up with a bass to begin with. And then, yeah, I do my drums completely differently. I just say, okay, I can hear a kick going. I'm going to just use the Logic Sampler. I'm just dragging an audio in of a clap, an 808 that I like. Quite loud. And then I'll layer that up with more percussion, some shakes, some hits. Cool, and then I might add some atmosphere. At that point, I'll probably move on to the top line. And I kind of just try to make sure there's some um, differentiation between each section. That's just the most important thing for me, melody-wise. And for me, the chorus has always got to be quite simple and repetitive and something that people can kind of clasp onto. I'll set up a vocal channel, a bit of compression, just to make sure all the levels are not peaking too high or too low. A bit of EQ, just to take off some of that low end, because I want that to come from other parts of the track. A bit of de -esser. some reverb, some delay. So I've gone with a tape delay. And yeah, I set a loop, and that's so helpful for me, especially recording at home, because I don't want to keep stopping and starting. If you've got a loop going, you can just get up on the microphone, zone out, turn the lights off. So I'll show you how I do that now. You've been talking to strangers For me, space is so important, especially in a verse. I just like a line and a couple of bars of space. And then when it comes to the pre, something a bit more flowy and then a bit chanty in the hook. So it takes you on a bit of a journey throughout the track. If you're talking to me, I would say you are all that you need, can't you see? If you're talking to me, I would say you are all that you need, can't you see? Don't you bring me down, 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 down. When it comes to harmonies, I think I started with the lows. Don't you bring me down, 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 down. Don't you bring me down, 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 down. And then I added an octave in, so I'm, I'm always adding an octave. That's probably my first thing that I'd do. I'd, I'd have a, a main and then the high octave to go with it. Down, 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 down. And to be honest, sometimes I just leave it as that, because I think those two just work so nicely together. But I wanted to make this kind of chanty, so I've added to down 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 and then I've added down down and I really like doing it like that because it's kept it so simple like it's such a simple it's literally don't you bring me down but then you've layered it up and it's just it just makes it vibey
And then I've just gone with one strong tagline, and that's the name of the will normally be the name of the track. So you don't you don't know you don't know yourself, and then just just sing that, repeat it. Once I'm happy with all the vocals, then I start filling out the track a bit. So I might get a loop or add it myself. So I'll add that in. I'm hearing some other counter melodies as well. So I'm gonna go with that make sure it's all in time and I kind of want to switch things up a bit in the second verse so I might try a different melody or different instruments so I'm gonna go with This is just an insight into how I write and record a song. And you know, songs don't always end up how they started. So this is how I started this song, but in actual fact, it ended up becoming a completely different track. So yeah, I'm Lily McKenzie. Thank you so much to Point Blank Music School for having me, and I hope you enjoyed.